Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Zen 2, the file transfer system, and how to uh, install that on Rocky Linux 9. Um, I'd like to say if uh, you liked my like my video, please subscribe and like to it. And if you have any comments, please post some comments. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. Now I I want to point out that I've already upgraded this server, Rocky Linux 9, to with all the updates, and I've installed Nano, and I've installed Webmin, as I've done in previous videos. So I'm just going to go ahead and start installing Zen 2. Now, to do that on Rocky Linux 9, you're going to need to update the crypto policies and set it to SH1. And I've sent a notice to them but um, they are using an older SHA so Zen 2 throws a, or sorry Rocky Linux throws an error message up so I sent issued the command update crypto policies and set to default SHA1 we'll just revert it back now I'm going to go ahead and download in the Zen 2 files next I'm going to unpack them and next I'm going to go into the Zen 2 install folder and next I'm going to just install now if you read on their website it, it like he says it's pretty straightforward um, so in this video it's just to run through the defaults um, it will download and install everything you need now you want to make sure if you do see any error messages back here that um, you correct those. Uh, now I did tell it to go ahead and install the web server. Everything's up to this point. It's going well. I'm not seeing any issues. As you can see, the packages are installing and we're about I want to say 30% through this. And as you can see, I am just going to keep hitting yes for the defaults. I'll set also to the defaults uh, in another video for the configurations. It's just simpler for me through Webmin to um, update the directory or the the configuration files with my preferences and as you can see it downloaded the EPL that we needed and it installed PHP 8.2 so hopefully we don't have any CVE issues or whatnot with our security folks out there. Um, okay, we're getting up to the next phase here. Yes, I do want it to install Clam AV. This sometimes takes a while. Obviously, the vagaries of the internet may be what's affecting it. So um, just be patient while it's installing and downloading. Um, the package is a bit sizable, but um, it shouldn't take too much longer after this. And then finally, we're coming up to where it'll start installing um, Zen 2 itself the file transfer system. Okay, looks like we're finally coming up to the port the part where it's going to install. Okay. 
uh, make sure that you do say yes here to the firewall rules. Uh, the default install is for the firewalls rules to be enabled. Again, we want to hit default yes for, um, and then we want all connections forwarded to HTTPS. Now, uh, I probably show with Let's Encrypt how to force that to update. Make sure you set your time zone because it will get a little wonky if you're not careful. Um, you go ahead and install the email package. It is necessary, but we'll configure it for our email system later on. Um, so we can get that up and running. Uh, we'll just let that use the default settings that are coming up after this from the installing Zen 2. And this is why uh, where the SHA file, their SHA is uh, set to one instead of two. So we'll need to, at the end here, update that. All right. So there's the fully qualified to, to my server. Uh, we'll set it to default 25. And yes, it requires it. Like I said, we'll um, edit this all later. So you want to make sure my, that's the correct subdomain. Looks good to me. Um, it'll do its machinations here. Um, we'll just let it stay there because I'm going to show you how to edit it in uh, files. So. Yeah, that's correct. And hopefully we'll come up to the final configuration screen. Oh yeah, when you, maybe when there's an update to 16, 6-13-3, I can do another video on how to upgrade. Uh, yes. And these are important to note. You want to make sure that you can LDAP. That allows you to connect to your LDAP servers. Um, send mail is enabled. And this is all for SE Linux. Okay, so Zen 2 has finally been set up. There is one thing that we need to do before we reboot. So we need to update the crypto policies back to default away from SH1, which is what I put in there. Um, so if I hit enter and then I hit reboot, I will now bring up an incognito window, which... I will go to, what do we call this server? Right. Ah, is it not rebooted yet? There we go. And as you can see, this is done. Now to test it, I can go back here. And what we'll do is we will go to the directory to add a manual user just for final testing. This is the format. So We will do this as um, oops.
As you can see, I like to copy and paste or paste. So I have to add a user for that password. As you can see, the user account was created. So I will go here and type in the password. And we should get in and there you go. I am um, set up. So thank you. And for the next phase, I'll start a video on how to actually configure it. Thank you. Bye. Oh, and don't forget, um, thanks for joining me today on this presentation of installing Zen 2 on Rocky Linux 9. If you like my video, please subscribe, like it. And if you have any comments, please make some. Thanks and hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.